Hey, what's up, guys? A uh, little bit of something different today, and no, it is not a cooking show, as much as it may look like one. So you've probably all seen, um, anyone who's taken apart a phone or anything like that may have seen iFixit's uh, tool called the Eye Opener. I shall show one on the screen now for you to look at. Um, basically, it's a heat pad um, designed to loosen up the glue on a phone or um, on a tablet, anything where the screen's glued down, you know, specifically like iPads and uh, and stuff like that where you need to get the hairdryer out normally. What you're meant to do is put this pad in the microwave um, and then it will hold its heat for up to 10 minutes or something like that. And uh, yeah, away you go. You lay it down on the on the thing you need, give it a couple of minutes and then pry it up. Um, however, in America, they're 20 bucks and in the UK, they're 34 pounds. Um, and it comes with a little toolkit, but I already have all the tools and I kind of need something like that. So I decided to make one myself. Um, and this will be called the patented hot sock. <laughs> um, and basically all you need to do really, it's, it's pretty simple. Get yourself an old crusty sock that I stole from my stepson. I'm going to use this cup to begin with. I know it looks really dodgy. Uh, but I promise you, it's all above board. And um, what we're going to do, I'm going to get rice absolutely everywhere, is spoon in some rice into your sock. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Right, so... Once you've got rice all over your workspace, I'd suggest maybe doing this in the sink or uh, somewhere where you don't mind getting a little bit messy. Uh, you should have something like this. And this is a sock full of rice. I really wish I'd blue peated this and made one earlier, but hey ho, hindsight's a wonderful thing. So once you've done filling your sock with rice, just uh, tie the end off unless you've got a sewing machine or you're a dab hand at, uh, at sewing or stitching. I suppose you could... Uh, you could quite easily sew the end up. And there we go. All right, so I've tested this and you're gonna to have to do a little bit of experimenting as to how long to leave it in the microwave. When this sock was half full, I put it in the microwave for a minute and it held its heat, quite a lot of heat, uh, for a good 10, 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, just experiment, chuck it in for 30 seconds, see what it's like. If it's not hot enough, chuck it in for another 30 seconds and you'll be able to gauge um, how long it needs to be in there for how hot you need it to be. Um, the other thing I'd say is you might want to keep this in some form of tub, um, like a sealed tub or a plastic bag, as rice is a moisture absorber. <clears throat> it will absorb moisture that's in the air. Um, so if you leave it out, it could absorb moisture, then you microwave it, and then some of that moisture, there's a chance, could end up transferred to the device. But all you need to do now is uh, say you're doing what I was doing earlier and, and pulling an iPad apart. You go chuck this in the microwave for a little bit and then you just lay it on top of the device. Uh, so say you're trying to get this part off and you leave it there. See, it's like a couple of minutes. Let the heat absorb into the device, pull it off and the glue under here should then be nice and tacky. Um, it's even better, I guess, if you've got something like a phone because uh, boom, all over the top of the phone. So if you're doing like a Samsung battery where the backs are glued on, this is your boy. And uh, yeah, well, that's it guys. Hopefully some people found this helpful. Give me a shout in the comments. If you're gonna try it yourself, let me know how you get on and uh, I'll see you next time.